Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And yeah, what you need to know about Windows 8.1. Windows 8.1 is available to everyone, people. The latest version of Windows improves on a Windows 8 in every way. It's a big upgrade, whether you use a desktop or the new touch optimized interface. Now, the latest version of Windows has been dubbed as an apology by some. Now, I'm not, I'm not naming any names. Microsoft. So, <laughs> so how do you get Windows 8.1, guys? Now, Windows 8 users, Windows 8.1 is completely free. It will be available as a download for the Windows Store. Assuming upgrading to the final version will be just like upgrading to the preview version. You will likely get a Windows 8.1 pop-up that will take you to the Windows Store and guide you through the process to download it. Now, this hasn't been the case. Uh, you will also be able to download the ISO image of the Windows 8.1 so you can perform a clean install to upgrade. On any new computer, you just install Windows 8.1 without going through the Windows 8, right? The new retail computers will start to ship out with Windows 8.1 and box copies of Windows 8 will be replaced by Windows 8.1 pretty soon. Now guys, if you are using Windows 7 or a previous version of Windows, the update won't be free. Getting Windows 8.1 will cost you the same amount as a full copy of Windows 8, which is $120 for the standard version. If you're an average Windows 7 user, you're likely better off waiting to buy a new PC with Windows 8.1 included rather than spending the amount of money to upgrade, right? Windows 8.1 offers the following big improvements for the desktop user. You can now log in directly to the desktop, skipping the tiled interface entirely. Top right corners, which is the app switcher and charm bar, won't appear when you move your mouse to the top left or the top right corner of the screen if you enable this option, which is a pretty cool option because a lot of people have been complaining about it, especially if you have laptops with those huge trackpads, right? Uh, Windows 8.1 brings back an always present start button on the desktop taskbar. Clicking this button will open the full screen Windows interface or the modern interface Start menu replacements will continue to function on the Windows 8.1, offering more traditional start menu. Luckily, you can hide the start screen and the tiles almost entirely. Windows 8.1 can be configured to show a full screen list of all your installed apps when you click the start button. The only real difference is that the start menu is now a full screen interface. You can now click the start button to access your shutdown, restart, and any other power option in just as many clicks as you would on Windows 7. Search is back, or Unify search is back, so you can start typing and search your programs, settings, and files all at once within Windows 8.1. Now. These all add up to a big improvement when you're using 8.1 on the desktop. Microsoft is being more or much more flexible. The start menu is full screen, but Microsoft has relented on so many other things and you never have to see a towel if you don't want to. These are just the improvements specifically for the desktop user. Windows 8.1 includes other useful features for everyone such as the Deep Sky Drive integration which allows you to store your files in the cloud without installing any additional sync programs. If you have a Windows 8 or a Windows RT tablet or another touch-based device that you use the interface formerly known as the Metro, you'll see more or many other noticeable improvements with the new upgrade. Windows 8's new interface have, was half-baked, don't get me wrong guys, when it launched, but it's much more capable and mature now with the new update 8.1. Windows 8's included apps were extremely limited in many cases. For example, Internet Explorer 10 could only display 10 tabs at a time. Windows 8.1, some apps such as Xbox Music have been redesigned from scratch. Internet Explorer now allows you to display a tab bar on screen all the time. The Windows Store app has been entirely redesigned and is less awkward to browse. No more Windows Q and all those kind of commands. Ugh. 
Now, the snap feature was a toy, and I love the snap feature myself, allowing you to snap one app to a small sidebar at one side of your screen while another app consumed most of the screen. Windows 8.1 allows you to snap two apps side by side, seeing each app full interface at once. On larger displays, you could even snap three or four apps at once. Now, 8.1 offers a more comprehensive PC setting app, allowing you to change most system settings in a touch optimized interface. You shouldn't have to use the desktop control panel on tablets anymore, guys, or at least not as often. Microsoft SkyDrive app allows you to browse files on your local PC, finally offering you a built-in touch-optimized way to manage files without using the desktop. Cool. Now, another added feature, which I think they should have added during the development or preview portion, is the help and tips. Yeah, 8.1 included a Help Plus Tips app that would help guide new users through its new interface. Something that Microsoft refused to add during development. They should have done that. Uh, there's no modern, modern, and I mean modern version of Microsoft Office apps. Not yet, guys. So you still have to head to the desktop to use the Office apps on tablets. It's not perfect, but the modern interface doesn't feel anywhere near as immature anymore. So that's basically some of the improvements or things that I've seen with 8.1. Uh, what are your thoughts? What do you think about 8.1? Is, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, I actually created a video for you guys of how to get it and again there were problems of retrieving it with the Windows Store. You needed a KB or an update on your machine to retrieve it. So check that video out. I'm actually going to post a link at the description and as well I'm going to place an annotation right here. Click, or, click, click, click that guy. Yeah, if you want to see that video. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this new features of 8.1 or what's new in 8.1. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button before you guys go. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.